Yo, what's up? This knowledge. I'm in the driver's seat. Uh, going to holler at my man's in them. Uh, just, 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 just driving real quick. Uh, just wanted to say to everybody out there. Um, when? Let me turn this down a little bit. All right. <laughs> when? Life gives you lemons, you squeeze that up, and you make lemonade. Now, it was raining outside, and I had a week off. Go back to the office tomorrow, and I get back to business. And during that time of having a week off, a lot of times you need to be able to get yourself back centered again. That's what I did. I didn't go out. I didn't really uh, do a lot of things that required a whole bunch of uh, moving around. I just got a lot of rest. And it made me think about the year thus far, six months in, and the rest of the six months that we are about to encounter, or I'm about to encounter. So I gave myself an outlook on what I'm trying to do what I'm trying to accomplish and as everything we should always try to um, we should always try to take inventory of our life and gauge where we are Um, birthday just passed like uh, a couple weeks ago just got 37 so I'm old enough or put it like this I'm young enough to know what's going on, and I'm old enough not to get involved, right? But, I'm also at the age where I see things for what they are, and I'm going to tell it how it is. You know, uh, regardless, I'm going to do it respectfully, but I'm going to I'm going to continue and be it more vehemently uh, myself you know and, and, and doing the things that I love to do and doing the things I like to do regardless of the circumstance or the situation and being fearful of nothing or no one because we all got a 50-50 chance of making it and we all gonna die anyway so you might as well spend your time doing something that you're passionate about and loving to do not biting your tongue and speak speak truth to power regardless if it uh, costs you your job costs you some friends what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong I don't care if they're your brother your sister, your mama or your daddy so um, as we go on and proceed into the next half of this year on the Roman calendar I ask that y'all really take inventory of your life uh, really look at where you are right now what you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish with yourself and don't be beat up by the past but just learn from it any mistakes that you've made thus far this season, this year that you really um, put some hard effort and work into making it better Surround yourself with people that love you, genuinely care about you, and want the best for you. And be a help where you can be without a detriment to your safety, your well-being, and really your finances. You know, help out where you can. Don't overextend yourself, you know. So this is knowledge coming to you. Just thought while I'm out driving, I'm on, you know a little roll right quick and then back to the crib and and maintain some chill um i just wanted to um bring bring some truth to you some truth to light some power to light you know and uh you know telling you that in this walk journey a life you're gonna offend some people you're gonna you're gonna 
And man, you're gonna you're gonna lose some people that you thought was friends, even family members. You're gonna lose some of them too. But you know, so what? So what? You know, so what? If you lose people by being who you are, then man, who gives a damn? Long as you being honest to yourself and being true to God, you know, and figuring out what your truth is. And sticking by it and standing for something. <clears throat> and that's all you gotta do. In my in, in my book, uh, in my book, that's what I've learned. So as I'm out about to um do whatever I gotta do, get on back, uh had a restful vacation, didn't go anywhere, didn't do anything that I didn't really wanna do. And you know, man, I feel great. You know, I had I had some time to really just sleep. And a lot of times, this is all we need is a little bit of rest and reconditioning of our mind, recharge, and evacuate ourselves from all others and get within and, you know, talk to God and, and proceed. So, this is knowledge coming at you in the car, in the bins out, with my friends out. Nah, no, just kidding. Just in the bins out. Nah, I ain't in no bins. But, uh, I'm in the Lexo, though. I've been driving with my blinker on this whole time. Didn't even know it. But, um, yeah. One love. Keep God first, family second, and you third. And in that order, you should never be last because what the last is always made first. You know, you gotta check your rear view mirrors when you're driving. You know. Keep an eye up on the competition. One love. Peace.